If you're into electronics and want to transfer data wireless over your smartphone, then Bluetooth is a great way to do this. In this video, I'll show you how to use a Bluetooth module for any of your Arduino project, which can be used to control any devices or control circuit, which is awesome. Without further delay, let's jump right into it. Here I'm using a Bluetooth model which is named as, well, 8C05. This model can act as a master and slave both, but not simultaneously. Whereas there also exist other modules such as 8C06, which can only act as a master. I ordered mine from Amazon and it is working pretty well so far. I'll put a link in the description for international purchase. Now the question is, how do we connect it with our Arduino? Now place the module on the breadboard as shown. Now as we can see it has 6 pins but we'll use only 4 pins. Now connect the RX pin of the module to the TX pin of the Arduino and then connect the TX pin of the module to the RX pin of the Arduino. Make sure you do not match TX with TX and RX with RX. Now at this point, let's say we are facing our first difficulty. The Bluetooth module works on a 33 volt logic level, whereas the Arduino works on a 5 volt logic level. How to get 33 volt from 5 volt? Yes, you're right, voltage divider. Two resistors connected in series which are pre-calculated and we get roughly 3.3 volt at the middle. Here I'm using one 10 kilo ohm resistor and one 20 kilo ohm resistor. Theoretically, there is a formula for calculation of resistor and voltage. Now connect the TX pin of the Arduino to the 10 kilo ohm resistor and the other end of the divider to the ground. Now take a jumper from the middle and connect it to the RX pin of the module. You don't need to do it for the other TX RX combination since Arduino is compatible with 33 volt logic. All we are left with the VCC and ground connection. Connect the VCC of the module to plus 5 volt and don't you forget to ground the ground pin. And the hardware part is complete. Now for the output purpose, I'm using a common anode or GB LED which is obviously one anode and three cathode as red, green and blue. Place the LED on the breadboard. The anode gets a 220 ohm resistor to limit the current. Now connect the red pin to Arduino pin 3, green pin to Arduino pin 4 and the blue pin to pin 5. Now to the Android app. There are plenty of app out there to control Arduino via Bluetooth but I personally like this voice control app which converts your voice into a string of data which is then feed to the Bluetooth. You can download the app from the link below or just search AMR underscore voice in Play Store. Now to the Arduino code. The Arduino code looks a bit messy but believe me, it's very simple to understand. You can write your own code or twist mine to make something new. I comment every line for you guys to understand. While uploading the code, make sure you disconnect the TX and RX pin from the Arduino. It interferes with each other and won't work. Afterwards, you can put it back. Now connect the app with your Bluetooth module. For the first time, you have to enter the pairing code, which is usually 0000 or 1234. Since I already did it, let's skip it. Since we are ready, let's give it a try. Blue on. Blue. If you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up. You can follow me on Facebook for quick updates. Keep innovating and I'll see you in a week. Lights off. Much better.